Okay, welcome back to, again, another Home Chef Cooking with Tiana, obviously. Okay, we're going to be doing the apple butter pork tenderloin. This has goat cheese and beets. Not my favorite, so we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so let's get on to the ingredients and then cooking, which is what we always do. So let's go. You're going to need eight ounces of carrot, eight ounces of red beet, one pork tenderloin, one tablespoon of chipotle cinnamon seasoning, four ounces of applesauce, one ounce of butter, and one ounce of goat cheese. Step one, peel, trim, and quarter carrot lengthwise. Cut quarters into half inch pieces. Then trim ends off your beet, peel and cut into half inch dice. Then pat your pork tenderloin dry. Step two, place beet on a prepared baking sheet and toss with a half teaspoon of olive oil, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of pepper. Spread into a single layer and roast in the oven 10 minutes. Once roasted, carefully remove beets to one side of the baking sheet, place your carrots next to the beets, and toss with a half teaspoon of olive oil, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of pepper. Spread beet and carrot into a single layer on their sides and roast eight minutes. Step three, place a medium nonstick pan over medium high heat and add two teaspoons of olive oil. Place your pork tenderloin in hot pan and sear on two sides until browned two to three minutes per side. Carefully move beet and carrot to one side of the baking sheet, transfer pork tenderloin to empty space on the baking sheet, and season with seasoning blend. Roast until beet and carrot are tender and pork tenderloin reaches a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees, 10 to 12 minutes. Step four, add the applesauce to the pan used to sear the pork and place over medium high heat. Stir constantly one to two minutes. And then stir your butter into the applesauce until completely melted. Then plate your dish. What is this stuff? Is it applesauce? Yes, it's applesauce and it's good butter. Well, I'm gonna rate it just because none of this is like my type of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna rate it about uh, five and a half or six. So it's not awful, and I do like pork, but the apple stuff is kind of weird. All right, Dad. And the veggies are kind of weird. What all is the veggies? Beets, carrots, and goat cheese. Yep. I don't like goat cheese. Right. I'm gonna give it a five and a half. All right. Uh, you didn't like this, huh, Robin? I gave it a five and a half or a six. I'm not a fan of carrots. I'm not a fan of beets. I do kind of like goat cheese. Um, she hates goat cheese. But actually. Again, it's got it's got a flavor that's is like really it's kind of good, but also weird. So it's a very unusual flavor. Um, but the vegetables, I don't know. I'd give the vegetables a six. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know because it's if you like vegetables, I think if you like these kind of vegetables, I think you would enjoy this flavor. I think the pork and the applesauce together, I think that tastes really good. So I'm definitely going to give this uh, six point five. Um, if it was a different vegetable, probably it would easily get a seven because the pork is amazing. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get your first box of Home Chef and check it out, thejohnnyoshow.com slash promotions. You can also find a link to it directly below in the comments and get $30 off your first box of Home Chef. Again, thank you and subscribe. Visit thejohnnyoshow.com slash cooking to get $20 off your first order of HelloFresh or 30 off your first order of Home Chef.